and you know what that means. That's right, it's time to get another edition of Sip and Snack, and I'll tell you right now, I've been wanting to do this one for a while, basically because I can't eat it until it is done as a video on this channel. So needless to say, why not do it now? I'm sure you could probably tell what day it is based on the best friend shirt that I'm currently wearing. That being said, uh, this is another cereal, but it's a different type of cereal. Now, of course, when I was in California, I kind of got equated with Smart Start, which apparently does not exist anymore. So yeah, this old cereal that I was eating by the truckloads at this uh, Homewood Sweets in Oxnard, California, it just doesn't exist. So this cereal does exist, and there's a lot of healthy cereals or quote-unquote healthy cereals on the market. Thanks to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, I am very happy to say that I have been introduced to yet another one of these healthy cereals, and it's a protein-based cereal. And I will introduce everyone to Magic Spoon. So what is Magic Spoon? Well, Magic Spoon is a healthy cereal. It's basically a protein-based cereal. Uh, so just looking at it right now, several different variants. As a matter of fact, there's some variants they've used in the past, like there's a gingerbread flavor during the holidays. That was something that was out, which I missed out on. I have the four that are here today. They do this like pack, so they can do it like a build your own pack, like a pack of four, a pack of six, and use code MAJORWFPOD to save on your purchase. So yes, it's uh, definitely trying to help out uh, my friends in the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. So that's something I definitely wanted to do. But that being said, I wanted to try it here on Sip and Snack, and I thought it'd be a good time as any to do that today. So I'll tell you right now, if you make purchases, they also have like discount codes other than Major WF Pod, and they also have bundles which come with an actual cereal bowl, which is kind of cool. So they have various flavors. They have original, which I may do at some point. They have oatmeal, and they have honey graham cracker, which I really want to try, but they're limited based, so I'm probably going to miss out on them. Maple waffle, blueberry, frosted, and then we have Fruity, and we have the four that I've got today. So I'm going to introduce you to Magic Spoon. We're going to start with four of them. So I'm going to go with the Cinnamon. So you got Cowboy Riding a Dinosaur or a Serpent. Can't really tell. I think it's a dinosaur. That is uh, quite literally Jurassic Express. You got Jungle Boy looking like... Uh, Mickey Rourke and Harley Davidson and the uh, uh, Marlboro Man and uh, Luchasaurus, or it looks a lot like Trogdor, actually, a uh, big beefy arm right there. So yeah, this has no grams of sugar, four net carbs per serving, and 12 grams of protein. It's a seven ounce box. It is actually gluten-free. And on the back, it looks like you can fill in the blank, so that's kind of cool here. So I got the calories here on the side. I'm going to read this to you right here. It is the high-protein, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally-flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown-ups. Hold on to the dream. Okay, this is cinnamon, and uh, we're going to try it. Five servings per container. It's 140 calories for one cup. Seven grams of total fat, one gram of saturated fat, no grams of transitional fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 150 milligrams of sodium, 15 grams of total carbohydrates, 2 grams of dietary fibers, no total sugars, no added sugars, 12 grams of protein, as I listed on the box, actually. Uh, no vitamin D, 33 milligrams of calcium, uh, 2 milligrams of iron, and 22 milligrams of potassium. It literally says ingredients, and then the funny thing at the bottom, contains milk. Interesting. So, from what I'm hearing, basically what this is, it's kind of like adult cereals, like from your childhood. So the only thing I can equate this to would probably be Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which everybody knows that I'm a huge fan of. So we're going to open it here. Let's see what the actual date is. Okay. It's July 14th, so that's not bad. I'm going to open it up. It smells like apple cinnamon Cheerios, actually. Kind of that's what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and pour it into the bowl. what it looks like yeah it looks like apple cinnamon cheerios so i'm curious to see what it's actually gonna taste like so let's try it mm. 
it's interesting. Because my mind's telling me it's apple cinnamon Cheerios. But, I'll give you a really weird comparison. It tastes like Big Red Gum as a cereal. That's unique. And not what I was expecting whatsoever. So, we're going to go to the next. Flavor ski here. Move it to the side. We're going to go to the next one, which is Cookies and Cream, pay your dues, which we've got a, um, a character from uh, probably like maybe like a Futurama, maybe somewhat, riding a zebra with roller skates. Okay, I buy it. So, uh, same thing on the side, we mentioned that. So we've got more, uh, finish the story, that's kind of cool. This one actually has 150 calories, and it's a little bit different. There is eight grams of total fat, one gram of saturated fat, no transitional fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 180 milligrams of sodium, good luck, uh, 14 grams of total carbohydrates, and one gram of dietary fibers, no total sugars, no added sugars, 13 grams of protein, no vitamin D, vitamin take, I shot, calcium, 20 milligrams, uh, 2 milligrams of iron, and 24 milligrams of potassium also contains milk. So we're going to try it as we pop open the cookies and cream. Maybe Oreo O's, potentially. I guess so. So this one actually expires uh, as well on July 18th, so we're going to try it. Interesting. Not expecting that's how it was going to look. So I'll move this aside here. So... It's cookies and cream. So, yeah, you've got, like, apparently this is, like, the cream. And these are, like, the cookies. So, I'm curious what it's going to taste like. So, cream doesn't really have a taste to it. Not at all, actually. Like, if I couldn't taste anything right now, if this was, like, if I was, eat, if I was sick right now, which I'm not, but if I was... I wouldn't be able to taste anything anyway, so it'd be a good cereal to have. Let's try the cookies. That's what the cookie looks like. Kind of a little bit of an Oreo taste, but not much. We'll try them together. Like. Like a generic Oreo taste. They're fine. Very bland. I'm curious to see what happens when I mix them. So, we tried cinnamon cookies and cream. Go to peanut butter. We've got um, Vera, Jim Carrey's character on In Living Color, holding a spoon. Prepared for that room screening, apparently. Get that tip out of the shot there. Um, we got a word search. That's kind of cool. And this one actually expires on... Well, that's not a good sign. There's no list to take a shot. July 6th. This is the peanut butter variant. Let's go into it as well. 170 calories, so it's uh, more than cookies and cream and more than a cinnamon. 9 grams of total fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, no transitional fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 210 milligrams of sodium, good lord. Uh, 10 grams of total carbohydrates, 1 gram of dietary fiber, no total sugars, no added sugars, 14 grams of protein, uh, no vitamin D, 20 milligrams of calcium, 2 milligrams of iron, and 40 milligrams of potassium. Contains milk and peanuts, because obviously the peanut butter, so that makes sense. Let you try it. And yeah, I have a feeling I'll eat Magic Spoon again. I want to try, I want to try the other ones if I can. Uh, weirdly enough, this actually opens a little bit different. It was actually a lot easier to open. I like that. Smells like, <clears throat> smells like, uh, it honestly smells like Kix, or I guess the best way to describe it, it's peanut butter Cheerios, which obviously became a big fan of Cheerios throughout the years. Needless to say, that's what this smells like. I want to see what it tastes like. So let's see what we got, that's what it looks like. I'll try it. It's good peanut butter taste, but it goes away. 
not goes away like the the cream of the cookies and cream, but it's just kind of there. It's weird. I I like it. I like Magic Spoon. It's just very understated. You can definitely tell it's the adult version of your kid's cereal. Now we've got... All right. Some sort of space creature riding a space dog with uh, moon boots and throwing a, co a cocoa... Okay. More word search. Mrs. Coco, of course. I should be singing Remember Me right now. Uh, 140 calories. So this, of course, goes back down to the 140 that we had with cinnamon originally. 7 grams of total fat. Uh, 1 gram of saturated fat. No transitional fat. 10 milligrams of cholesterol. Interesting. And I don't know what that was. Uh, 160 milligrams of sodium. Uh, par for the course. Uh, 15 grams of total carbohydrates, 2 grams of dietary fiber. It's a lot more dietary fiber than normal. Uh, so we have no total sugars, no added sugars, 13 grams of protein, and vitamin D is nothing. 22 milligrams of calcium, 2 milligrams of iron, and 105 milligrams of potassium. Get your potassium on right now with this cereal. And look at this word search. Ready for space. Needless to say, we're going to try it. I do kind of like this. It's like why we're special in the back. I'm going to look into it real quick. So, yeah, we're talking about the protein, the carbs, and then the sugar. And then it's like grain-free, gluten-free. We talked about all the freeze here. Let's look into it real quick. I might try to mix these, see what they taste like when you mix them. Not the cocoa smell I was thinking. I'm going to try it. Looking at them, they kind of look like little Hostess Donut cereal. I think that was a thing. I'm pretty sure it was recently. I didn't never got to try it, but yeah. I'm curious what it's going to taste like. So let's see. I need more water to get that peanut butter taste in my mouth. But it's very... It's understated, but it, it kind of lingers. So we're going to try it. Kind of like a Cocoa Pebbles. Like a dark chocolate Cocoa Pebbles? I know my mind's trying to tell me by looking at it, it's probably Cocoa Puffs, but maybe, this is bad to say, maybe a stale Cocoa Puffs or a dark chocolate version of Cocoa Pebbles. I like that better. That sounds like I'm not like ripping them to shreds on here. Yeah, um... Peanut butter, by itself, seems to be the winner here. It's the one that tastes the most. Cinnamon, kind of understated. Cookies and cream is very strange. Very, very strange. Um, I'm obviously going to keep this. But yeah, that's your sip and snack for today. More sip and snacks still to come. And again, if you want to uh, save some money on your Magic Spoon order, if you go to magicspoon.com, you can use discount code MAJORWFPOD to save money on your order. And uh, that being said, if you have any ideas for sip and snack versus the other regular segments on the network, feel free to shoot me an email. Disney at gmail.com. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.